Hey, what's up YouTube and Forza 5150 here and what we're doing today is we're finally going to get to the problem that we've been trying to solve for a while. Um, that is with the HP Omen, um, we had some heat issues. So what we're going to do today is we're going to put some new thermal paste on the HP Omen. We're going to go through all the steps of just, you know, taking it apart and stuff like that, break down and during that we'll hopefully, you know, clean it out a little bit because no matter what you do, you're going to get some uh, dust and dirt in there and stuff like that that's flying around. Uh, hopefully we get like, you know, 510 uh, degrees Celsius that will actually, you know, get, get a little bit cooler than, you know, the stock because the stock is obviously you know, pretty hot and jumps up to 100. As you start going to 100, it th throttles itself down, and when it throttles itself down, you lose frames per second. Now that, and that's not what you really want when you're work, you know, gaming and stuff like that. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll get it a little bit cleaned out in there, uh, take off the old uh, thermal paste, we'll put on some new thermal paste, and hopefully we'll get some cooler temperatures from uh, doing this process. A lot of times you can bring down your temperatures from the adding new thermal paste or you can undervolt your CPU. Uh, I don't really undervolt my CPUs that much. I don't really want to show other people how to do it because you know, a lot of people can mess up their BIOS and stuff like that by messing around in there. You know, see some other things and be like, oh, why don't I change this or that? So I, I don't usually recommend that for the average person. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go and set this up so that you can see everything that's going on here and we can uh, get to adding some thermal paste to this thing, clean it out. All right, so probably one of the hardest parts was probably getting this light set up here. <laughs> that was probably the hardest part of that I'm going to have with this entire project of adding the thermal paste. Anyway, um, what we want to do is uh, go ahead and turn it over. You'll have probably about six, I think it's like six screws here. All right, here and here and these two spots down here. So uh, you'll need like a P2 screwdriver. Uh, I use... Um, this is kind of a generic kit and oops, yeah, I have miscellaneous screws and stuff like that. Seeing that every time I, I work on something in there. Um, <clears throat> this, oh yeah, the thermal light we're going to, this is some, uh, kind of generic. This is the Cooler Master, um, stuff that you get when you get a, a cooler through Cooler Master. And I don't really use this stuff that much. It's just this default stuff that they give you when you get a cooler. Um, the stuff I, I normally try to use, hopefully I have enough of this left. It looks like I do. Um, this is the uh, Arctic Silver 5. Um, probably one of the ones I use the most. Uh, it's a polysynthetic uh, silver, there's, so there's no... Um, it's not the uh, metal that you don't want. <laughs> Alright, so the, actually the PH0 is the one, the, the screwdriver that you want to use. Um, the P1 that I had is definitely not, not good enough. I don't know, any, any precision screwdriver kit that you have uh, will work with this. Uh, but, you know, they, it has to be a precision set. You know, if you just get a regular uh, screwdriver set, it's not going to be small enough to get these screws out. Uh, any regular screwdriver kit definitely isn't going to cut it. Alright, so this thing's definitely not playing nice here. Um, the first time you open any laptop, it's going to be a little bit difficult. So I'm going to actually use this uh, flathead screwdriver and just kind of go along these edges here and pull them out so that we can kind of break the you know manufacturer's seal. <laughs> you just want to do it lightly, just so you don't you know obviously so you don't break anything. The one you know, laptop is first opened up, it's always going to have kind of a, a major uh, suction or whatever to it. Alright, so it will take a little bit of force to get it off, but once you get the main part of it off, you should be good to go. And you can kind of see how dirty it gets inside, which it got a little dirty. Uh, I think I bought this in October. I can't remember. I'd, I'd have to actually look back. I'll put it on the screen or something. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, once you get once you get that off, um, you're pretty much uh, kind of good to go. Uh, now there's another four screens you're gonna or four screws that you want to take off. Let me turn it the other way. You need to remove the battery. Um, so you have four you have four screws here. Yeah, getting this set up was was probably my my hardest part. Um, getting off the 
the bottom part, once you get off the first time, it's not that bad. Um, it's, it's kind of sealed on there because it's been on there for a while, especially if, if you've had your uh, laptop being hot. I mean, that's kind of the reason why you're, you would be doing this in the first place. Definitely want the battery out. <laughs> um, even if you don't have to in any type of laptop, uh, just to make sure you cut the power of everything. So now you just need to pull up this uh, plastic bar here and you should be able to remove the battery. Alright, so next we have here, uh, we need to pull these out. So this is just kind of the, the cover of your uh, your fans and your CPUs and everything. All right, so I had to actually go ahead and take this part off to get that part out of there. Uh, we just want the heat sink part open here, um, but I had to take that off. Some, it, normally you don't have to. Um, the next thing we want to do is. Um, uh, just move these the metal cover uh, metal screws here uh, underneath this part here you'll see that one there and then there's another one over here that's actually um, right next to this wire here and then we'll have to remove the fans all right now next we want to go ahead and take our SSD out of here all right now we need to remove the actual heat sink which there should be some screws right around here. Yeah. So here's these little things here. See how little they're long and straight. And there's another one down here. I believe there should be another one over here holding it as well. Uh, I should come out right here. All right. Generally, you need to get off these um, fan covers, but kind of left them on. Alright, so there's one part that I forgot to mention here, and that is you need to take off this cover as well. Um, mostly because this way how you get the heat sink out of there. All right, so now that we got that, we can go ahead and start removing the fans. All right, so now we got all the fans, we got the fans loose and stuff like that. I made it so that I, I wouldn't have to actually remove the tape and then remove the fans by themselves. We can just kind of pull it all up. Once you get all this, all of them out, you'll need to wiggle it a little bit, um, just you know because of the old thermal that's on there. And then obviously you want to remove your old uh, powers. All right, so there we go. We got all the all those off. So this should now just come right off, nice and easy. There we go. And you can see, I mean it. They don't put a lot on here. I mean, that's that's not a lot, but it also it's been dried up. After a while, you always want to put on new thermal. I do it on my my desktop PCs as well. To remove this therm old thermal paste, uh, it's just just getting something like this. Uh, this is 91% I alcohol. I would rather use 96%, but my daughter kind of used it for like her makeup or something. But so just get like a cloth or something like this and start wiping it off. Just make sure that you're using, you know, an alcohol that will dissolve right away. <laughs> uh, if you get like a 50%, I wouldn't re recommend anything like a 50% alcohol on electronics. And make sure you just get all the way around the CPU, all the sides and stuff like that. Just make sure it's completely clean. I mean, it doesn't have to be totally clean. Um, like the little stuff in the, the corners, crevices, whatever you want to call it, it's fine. 
Um, but if you've gone all this way and taken everything apart, you may as well you know, clean it all as best you can. Uh, for this video, I probably won't, uh, just so I can get uh, us to the next step. All right, then, um, look at that. Uh, before you let it sit, you can use like a, a dry cloth, you know, microfiber or something like that, uh, just to get all the, the little stuff out of there. All right, and then I'm gonna let it dry just for a second, even though it's alcohol, it can dry almost instantly. I like to let it sit a little bit. Uh, and then we'll come back and we'll fire our thermal. All right, so I am back. Um, Hopefully I did not mess this up too bad of uh, the camera angle and everything. Um, which I, I pretty much did. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I, I moved it um, a little bit, but not too bad. Uh, won't be that big of a problem. Move this over the side. So we're going to go ahead and put the thermal paste on now right away. And like I said, we're going to use the Arctic. So when you add your thermal paste, now you, um, there's not really a, 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 pa a bad way to do it. I mean, there is obviously, but you want to just kind of do, a like a, a bead, I don't know, like P maybe size amount on these. You don't want, you don't really want to overdo it so that it's overly saturated and you don't want to underdo it so that you just get yourself right back into the position that you're in before we did all this so um with these being so small oops, these being very small cpus uh just a little dab is going to do it and you, you just want to think about like how much will actually cover the cpu itself like that might be a little too much that one's a little too low so just about that much and you should be all right um Sometimes I, I add a little bit more like you know you have enough when you you know put everything back together and then you start you know gaming and stuff like that and you don't notice a difference or it's hotter than it was before. Um, in that case then you kind of have to strip it all back down and do it again. But usually if you do about this much you should be all right. And that I mean that's not really going to be too bad. We're going to go ahead and. Uh, do a, a before and after. I did some Counter Strike, so, uh, not Counter Strike Source, Counter Strike Go, CS Go, um, uh, before I did this, and then we'll do another one for after. After I assemble this all back up, um, as far as putting it back together, it's not too difficult. It's not exactly fun. I like taking apart things much more than I like putting them back together. Um, well, you just kind of follow the steps that we we did here, you know taking it apart so uh, we're, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together and then uh, we'll get to some of these uh, benchmarks all right so here we are and as you can see the pace obviously worked uh, we can see on the left side there that you know it was going at you know 100 in the upper 90s almost the whole time and on the right side, we can see that we're actually much lower than before. Actually, it's a little bit more than I was expecting. You know, we're getting almost, you know, 20 uh, Celsius lower than I was on, you know, the original. That's, I mean, that's, a, that's actually pretty good. I was expecting to get about 10 to 15 max, but having it at this is definitely uh, what we want. You know, so that's not that's not too bad. Uh, you see that the frames per second, you get a little bit more. You're not going to gain a ton. I mean, that difference isn't isn't going to be that much. Uh, so I, I didn't expect to you know see a huge increase in frames per second. But anyway, uh, that's all we're going to do for this video. Uh, I, I can't really say that's all because there is a lot in this video. I had to cut out a ton of it. Uh, hopefully this was uh, helpful, helpful for anybody out there that wants to uh, repaste their CPU. So let me know in the comments if you like this video, if you want me to do more like it, or let me know on Twitter. That's Enforcer5151 on Twitter. I definitely uh, appreciate your comments and concerns on how to do more of these. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button. Definitely subscribe if you new to the channel. Y'all take care and happy gaming.